Wham, bam, bang. Now that's a fucking intro. Am I right? Am I? That's what I thought. What's up, what's up, what's up? You got your man Bruce Warford coming at you with episode three, count them, of Bam 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 Bruce and the Jets. Pow! Ha! Now, some of you, <laughs> you had issues with the quality of our last episode, so uh, I made sure I got a little something special for you, just for you guys, just to make up for it, you know? Show that I care. <clears throat> <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I said that was enough of the input from you guys, so don't get it twisted. This fancy shit I got going on now, that's for me. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Great, so for those of you here actually trying to watch the best vlog for the New York Jets on the internet, I got a few updates this week, but first, let's get the mood light going. Alexa, change the bedroom to green. <laughs> nice. So, uh, I just saw this headline on an article on Twitter that really got me thinking. Why the Giants shouldn't be lumped in with the Jets? Other bottom NFL teams. I mean, didn't even click it. I could tell you what it should say in three points. One, the Giants suck, and their name should never be mentioned in the same breath as our team. Two, seriously, fuck whoever wrote this article. Three, C points one and two. But really, the biggest de difference between our team and those <coughs> fuckers <coughs> is they pretend like they've actually got a shot at winning something. You know? Jets fans, on the other hand, I mean, we may seem uh, disillusioned at times, sure. Um, but there's a huge difference between maintaining hope and just straight up lying to yourself. One could go so far as to say the Jets are, Jet fans are more truthful, honorable, down to earth, and all around better people. You know, if someone wanted to say that, I wouldn't have a comment for it. What I will say, we got some new blood this season who's ready to get out there, make a difference. Former Browns running back Isaiah Crowell says he wants to be a big-time player on the Jets this season. Funnily enough, <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. Hey. <laughs> um, he also said, and I quote, nobody likes to lose. I'm a sore loser. I do whatever I can to win. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you know what team you signed for, right? <laughs> Crowell, I, I mean, best of luck to you, my dude, but, uh, oh. <clears throat> anyway, in other big news, owner and CEO Christopher Johnson has said he's siding with the players when it comes to Anthem Gig. This, this right here is why the Jets are a family. F-A-M-I-L-Y. Family's got your back even in the tough times. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, things are still heating up in the preseason field with the continuation of a three-way quarterback showdown between Terry Bridgewater, Josh McCown, and Sam Donald. And by all accounts, the first matchup of the season could be anybody's game. So how about we just put in whoever's most likely to get the big O-W. Eh? Looking at you, Todd Bowles. It's just not on the players. Gonna need some smart thinking coming from the top, too. And I mean... I say that with nothing but respect, man. It's painful enough watching from the stands. Like, I can't even imagine what it's like to have a role in the season. <laughs> I gotta think it's like, like when you have a kid, right? And they're in a play or some shit, and they practice and practice and practice. And you run lines with them or whatever the fuck. And uh, they get on stage, completely forget their lines. <gasps> Where they are, <gasps> who they are. Uh, and where they are, and they uh, completely uh, piss their pants, right? I mean, it's got to be something like that. I mean, fuck do I know? I'm not a parent. <sighs> yet. <laughs> that said, I'm going to go to bounce. Got some shit I got to take care of. And uh, 
I may have some big news for you when I'm back next week. <laughs> but for now, you guys keep it real. This has been Ba 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 Brucey and the Jets, Bruce Warford.